This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Netflix. Go to netflix.com slash TYT for your free trial membership. This uh, crisis in uh, Egypt has given uh, at least uh, one uh, member of the uh, Republican uh, caucus uh, some thoughts on uh, how, to, how this will affect uh, oil drilling uh, at home. Uh, let's touch on that uh, quickly before we take a break. Uh, Jeff Landry is a Republican from uh, Louisiana, the third district of uh, Louisiana. He's uh, been appointed to three key uh, congressional uh, committees uh, recently the, the, with broad oversight of uh, national transportation infrastructure issues. He's the vice chairman of the Coast Guard and Maritime Transportation Subcommittee. It uh, sounds like a great job. Um, Anyway, he says the uh, situation in Egypt is obviously, as you see, the protesters in the streets and this opportunity for a uh, democracy to take hold in a region that, that hasn't noted, that hasn't had it, and where autocratic rule has been the sort of the dominant theme for centuries, generations and generations. Obviously, this is a time for, for Exxon to drill at home. Here's Jeff Landry. How serious a situation is what we're seeing in Egypt for oil prices here, and what are you calling on the United States government, uh, the president and Congress to do immediately? Well, I think, I think we're, we're, we're back to uh, where we were in the 1970s. You know, the Department of Energy was tasked, was created in order to, to shield the United States and its economy from exactly what we're seeing today. Uh, <clears throat> an unrest in the Middle East uh, that, can, that can drive the price of energy uh, through the roof. Now, you're calling for the president to drill now. Um, and uh, obviously given the April 20th explosion there on the Deepwater Horizon rig, there's all kinds of regulations in place for deep, deep water drilling. You say this is something they need to start doing today and lift some of these regulations. Well, that's correct. I, uh, again, you know, if we, if, we, if we hope for any uh, economic recovery to take place, uh, we're going to need affordable energy. All right, so that was Congressman uh, Jeff Landry from uh, Louisiana uh, sort of uh, taking advantage of the situation there in Egypt uh, to call for uh, more drilling at home. And, and Cenk, I, suppose, I suspect that that'll be a tactic that Republicans take, which is that, uh, that there's a crisis in the Middle East, and therefore we should drill at home. I, we'll be seeing more of that. Uh, we're already seeing more of it. Uh, Senator David Vitter from Louisiana, the House Energy and Commerce Chairman Fred Upton, from uh, Michigan, uh, all Republicans all saying, drill now, baby, uh, you know, just in case. And, of course, what they never tell you in all that is that um, when we drill here in the United States, that doesn't mean we get the oil. It's not like they're like, all right, we drilled, you know, a billion barrels. Uh, ben Manguis gets three barrels. Jank Uger gets five barrels. No, ExxonMobil gets it, and they can sell it wherever they like, and, uh, and they can sell it to China if they like. Hey, ironically, they can go and sell it to Egypt if they like. So this is just an excuse the Republicans are using to try to do another favor for their donors, which are the oil companies. That's such a great point. Get a load of Netflix. They deliver the movie to your house, no late charges, free shipping. You can watch thousands of movies or TV shows straight on your PC or on your television through a gaming console. Netflix.com slash TYT. Free trial membership. You get Netflix all over you.